now if we go for a rocket barrel because he doesn't have arrows in hand i don't think he can defend so we're gonna see if we can do it kind of all or nothing on this play here what's up everyone it's Durky here and today we're going to be pushing top ladder uh with what i think is the best log bait deck in the entire meta it features the evo knight and the evo tesla so we're going to give my opponent the good luck here's my rank currently when i start the video we're inside the top 3000 in the in the entire world so pretty high up i guess depending on your metrics so that's the level of competition for those of you that watch the videos and are wondering and this is the deck that i'm rocking i'm going to show it on screen real fast so like I said, classic log bait with the double evolution knight. Uh, we're going to see if we can get some wins here at top ladder. Looks like we're up against hog EQ, most likely. So a matchup as old as time. Uh, and this dude is a Nate's clan. Interesting that he's not running like a minor control deck. Actually, the bomb tower? No, I still I still think it's hog earthquake, but I'm not sure. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to be showing you how to use this deck. Like I said, this this log bait deck or the one that features the Evo Skeletons, I think are the best ones in the meta. But yeah, it is Hog EQ, no surprise. Well, we haven't seen the Earthquake yet, but I'm pretty sure he has an EQ. Goblin Gang for the Cracker, and you'll notice I played it late enough so that way the Goblin Gang uh, survived the Bomb Tower. Okay, interesting Goblins by him. I don't know if he was predicting like a Princess or something like that, um, but they weren't that great. <laughs> Yeah, he's Princess Paranoid for sure. So we're going to go like this because he spent so much. And uh, I forced a log out pretty much. Oh, Evil Firecracker. But Evil Firecracker, is, we're still going to get two shots. And then he won't have enough, I think, to Earthquake right away. So I think that was a really successful push by us. We're set up with a small damage advantage. Evo Tesla helps out a ton against uh, the Evolved Hog Rider. Evolved Hog Rider. Against the normal Hog Rider, sorry. So this matchup could go either way. I think it's very winnable depending on how well you play. So double elixir, things are going to heat up. I'm going to go for a barrel. And he drops the Evo Knight. Fortunately, our Evo Knight is in line with their Evo Knight in terms of cycle. And he doesn't have the Evo Firecracker in hand. But even the normal Firecracker is a bit threatening, so we need to be careful of that. I'm just going to rocket this because he did give me the value, right? Like, I think that's worth it for me. Princess is going to clean up the Hog Rider as well with that log. He opts to Earthquake. I don't know how I feel about that. We're going to try and bait out the log here. Mm, yeah, and then go for Goblin Gang on the opposite side. We'll see if... We oh, I misclicked that. Shoot. All right, we're just going to let this go. Okay. The cycle's pretty awkward here. We're going to go for a low Tesla, and then we're going to Knight like this to block the evil firecracker he goes for an earthquake on the princess i think that's kind of aggressive we're gonna go for a princess at the bridge and get at least one shot if not more good ice spirit by him to reset the princess shot when you find ourselves with a small lead nothing too crazy okay i expect him to go for a hog rider here we're gonna go for a high tesla and then we're gonna log to push the knight back and then we actually need to go for a goblin gang to prevent hog hits hopefully yes we do yes we do so kind of a sketchy defense there i almost choked it uh, first game of the video, I still got a little bit of those commentator nerves. Um, okay, so let's see what we do here. That is a, a decent counter push. He's going to go in for a hog rider here, most likely. Honestly, for me, not misplacing the Teslas is like the biggest thing in this matchup. As well as protecting your princesses are really important when it makes sense. Because they don't have a great spell for the princess. Um, so if you are able to like stack up princesses uh, and get a big push off of it. It's really, really helpful. As well as predicting the firecrackers, uh, I think is, is a really big deal in this matchup. Okay, he tries to snipe, snipe the bomb tower. Interesting. Tesla is going to survive. He can't go in for a hog rider when the Tesla is up. And at the same time, he doesn't want to spend an earthquake on a half HP Tesla. So that's one of the benefits of going for that. Yeah, he uses a bomb tower, which means I can probably go for a uh, rocket here. Let's see. Yeah, he, he actually earthquakes nothing, so I am going to go for the rocket because my Tesla is going to survive. Okay. Now we found ourselves in a nice damage advantage. Pressuring while defending. He's definitely going to earthquake here, so we need to be ready for that. We're going to go for the low Tesla. There comes the earthquake. Doesn't matter. We're ready for it, like I said. We have the ice spirit. We have the rocket for this one. Goes for the pre-log. Yeah, that's why you can't... Um, What's it called? Counter it with the uh, goblins because they go for the pre-log like that. Princess here as well as log. And I don't think he's going to be able to break through with this push. 
We're going to block the Cracker just to make sure, go for a Goblin Gang low, and at this point he can't make up the damage deficit. So that's a good first game, pretty textbook against Hog Earthquake. I think we didn't misplace any Teslas, that's awesome. So really good game, GG's to our opponent, and we'll catch you in the next one. Right into our next match here against Lolo, sporting the top 500 tournament finish. We'll be, we'll be sure to give him a run for his money or not. Maybe we'll get clapped. I don't know. Just going to log the Ice Spirit here. Probably would have had to cycle it anyway. Princess in the opposite lane of the night. Ice Spirit Knight. Pretty common cards, especially at top ladder. It's really important to try and identify your opponent's deck as soon as possible. It looks like he's going to be running probably like a Rocket Cycle deck. Like the fact that he rocketed a Princess means he's running some form of like rocket control or, or something like that so good to know i mean we do get a plus three trade but not ideal because in his mind he decided that that value was worth it so maybe it was all right anyways we ended up almost evening the damage with some spear goblin chips so we're not going to try and fret oh it's hog rocket okay so this is actually a good matchup for us. It is hard for him to break through our Teslas. Um, so that's probably why he went for the rocket right away. So if we don't panic and, and we play it controlled, I do think that we have a good chance of winning this game. Nice. He spent um, three whole elixir on that princess. Don't know if that was necessary. He thought he outcycled our Tesla and he did, but we get a very nice rocket here and a small little counter push. Probably just go for skeletons on the, the left side, I would imagine, to mitigate any damage or ice spirit. We still get one spear goblin shot. Let's go. This spear goblin so menacing. So like I mentioned, uh, this is a decent matchup for me. So we're going to try not to choke it. And not to give him any rocket value, like I said. So we're going to knight for their evo knight as well. Just DPS this down as quickly as possible. Hey, he takes the rocket on my tower. Most likely going to take the King Tower activation here as well, so we're going to pressure with the Princess. Okay. So we're going to go for some split lane pressure. What does he do here? He goes for the Evo Skellies and he goes for the Executioner. Tesla's actually helping DPS all that down, which is super awesome. Okay. I want to try and keep my princess alive here if I can. Obviously, he could maybe go for like a tornado or something. And yeah, he does. Okay, no surprise. We're going to ignore that. This matchup's really tricky because you need to like understand when it's okay to like sack some damage and when you like need to actually go in and pressure. So we're going to be extra cautious with that. Maybe he'll tornado something here. He does. Yep. Pretty aggressive and we're kind of ready for it. So really, really good circumstance for us. We're going to do some nice split lane pressure because he was very aggressive there. And we have a surviving Tesla. I don't think he can get the log down right away. So he's going to eat some damage. Yep. Beautiful. Now that actually puts us in the lead. We're going to protect our Tesla here just a little bit just to make his life annoying. Uh, I, I was thinking about going for a princess at the bridge, and I kind of wish I would have, to be completely honest. This will force out an executioner or a log, possibly, because that's going to do a ton of damage. Okay, evil skeletons. We're not going to let him uh, get away with just evil skeletons. Perfect. And we're kind of controlling the tempo now, as you can see. We just got, like, one momentum shift, and now we're absolutely controlling the tempo. I, it is worth noting that this is, is a good matchup for us, so it's not like I'm, like, bragging or anything, but we're looking good. Tesla high here. I don't see him breaking through here. Very, very nice. Knight is going to clean up that Executioner for the most part. Crushing while defending. He's back to a Hog Rider and an, an, an Evil Knight here. So we need to make sure that we're careful. We're going to go for a Rocket. And an, a Knight of our own. And making sure we're not giving him rocket value during that entire process as well. Because at this point, he's down at Elixir that if he goes in for a rocket, we're probably going to be able to punish very effectively. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We saw that coming, right? We're going to take care of this. And then once this is gone, we're going to go in on both lanes. Because that's kind of what you need to do against these types of decks. Nice. Yep, exactly. You needed to make it where that what he did was too aggressive to defend. And we're going to pressure again because he wants to go in for a hog rider. He needs to make up that damage deficit, but we're not going to let them do that. 
Nice. And now, even if he goes in for a rocket, it's actually not enough damage, and he can't break through our Tesla. So we're going to give him the good game. Obviously, he played well. He's a very good player, but we had a better matchup, and we didn't panic. So GG's to Lolo. We'll take the dub, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, into our next matchup here against Billy Boy. So we, we faced two hog decks so far. Um, pretty strong win, con win condition, obviously. Wish I would have saved my Ice Spirit to use into that lane, honestly. Um, it's going to do a decent job countering, though. Yeah, we take no damage. Skeleton Barrel doesn't tell me that much, though, to be honest. Looks like he's playing some sort of spam deck, so... Don't love that for me, uh, to be completely honest. I'm scared of using my log, like I'm wary about, about using it, so I'm going to wait just a second. And we already are kind of in a, a predicament, if you will. Okay, really good Tesla placement, though. We do eat wall breakers. We need a wall breaker shot, but... I didn't want to overcommit on defense there. Like, obviously, he spent a lot, but I was kind of scared of overcommitting, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy the way that I defended that. We're going to try and get our King Tower activated. It's going to be costly, but I think it's worth it because in this matchup, King Tower will be very, very beneficial. He's going to bait out my log here, though. Most likely just going to go for Evo Recruits in the back. That's what Recruits players always do, bro. You cycle your log once, and then they go for an Evo Recruits push. So we're going to see if we are able to defend. We're going to do our best. Yeah, there they are. It's like I've seen this movie a hundred times. <laughs> uh, it's super annoying. Um, he also has evil wall breakers. Not in hand, but in general would be my guess. So what you want to do in this situation is protect your Tesla and not give them spell value in that process. So we're going to go like this so the recruits don't dash. Like I mentioned, we're going to protect our Tesla. Uh, good arrows by him. He made it impossible for us to protect our Tesla any more than we already did. And we're going to defend pretty decently here. I mean, he's going to get some chip, but with the King Tower and the Princess targeting that, we, f we live to see another day. And we survived the Evo Recruits push, so that's good. Goblin Barrel like this. Um, decent for me. Princess is going to help clean this up as well, which is really nice. I'm going to pre-Tesla. Um, I misplaced it, but that's okay. It'll, it'll still get value, honestly. And then I'm going to go for the Ice Spirit here, and then I'm actually going to log on this side instead of logging on the barrel, to be honest. And then the Evil Tesla will clean up those recruits. That Firecracker is a nuisance for us, though, in this situation. He doesn't have arrows, so I'm going to go in for barrel. Yeah, so we're going to get some good damage there. That Firecracker has been alive for forever, dude. It's so frustrating. Okay. Evil Tesla just perishing when we needed it the most, unfortunately. Ice Spirit here, and then I expect him to go for the ability. Yeah, he does. So we need to go for a Knight, and then we need to go for Princess. Just to cycle back to another Log. And I am going to Log again, just to make sure that we don't take any more damage than we need to. Cheeky situation. They always try to get you to use your Log so they can punish with their other cards. Not too different from the deck that I'm running, to be honest. But you just kind of need to keep a level head when you're defending. It's very easy to just start like placing cards down, like if you get flustered or something like that. And getting flustered is the enemy. We do not want to get flustered when we're defending. Ice Spirit to reset the Inferno Dragon. So that way my Evil Knight gets more value. Super. And we actually got a lot of damage there. I don't know if you noticed. We pressured while he was defending. That was a really bad ability. He spent two Elixir. He's not going to get anything from that. And so now it's like we're in a, a very a winning position if we can defend for the next minute. Okay, I don't want to use my Evil Tesla here. I really don't. So I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to Ice Spirit here. I hope I don't regret it. Mm, kind of do regret it, to be honest. Nice. Those Evo Recruits are pretty much gone, though. We get a little bit of log value here. We do have a Rocket as well, kind of like our, our Ace in the Hole, right? When in doubt. I'm just going to go for it now because I don't expect him to get a ton from this push. Nice. Okay. We do get some chip there. Almost putting it within two rockets. Okay. This push is going to be massive. From him, I should say. If he arrows this, I'm in trouble. He did arrows it. He did arrows it. But now, if we go for a rocket barrel, because he doesn't have arrows in hand, I don't think he can defend. So we're going to see if we can do it. Kind of all or nothing on this play here. And it works. Yeah. He used his arrows, right? 
which I knew he was going to do. So then he didn't have anything to full counter the barrel. So kind of a close match, but <laughs> feels good to get a win. So GG's, we'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next game against this person here. And my adrenaline is like pumping from that last game. It was really fun. Honestly, if the games are close, I'll, I'll keep them in the video. The only time I won is if it's just like me getting smacked. And right away, the fact that this dude has Zap, probably Evo Zap and Rage, makes me think like Mega Knight or something like that. I don't know for sure, but that's my initial thought. Some sort of like beatdown deck. He might not even have a big spell, which would be good for us. Nice. Yeah. It's already looking like he doesn't have a big spell low key. So we're just going to be play it safe and drop the Tesla here. Also helping us cycle to our Evo Tesla. Okay, we're going to be calm and cool and collected on this defense. Protecting our Tesla. If he goes for a Zap, we can go. Yeah, he goes for the Rage. I don't actually don't even think I needed that Knight. That's what I'm talking about. I was like, I'm trying to be calm and cool and collected on defense. Since it is single Elixir, I'm just going to let this go. I don't want to commit with a Goblin Barrel and not be able to defend. His deck is clearly very aggressive, so he's sort of relying on an overcommittal from me. And we're going to make sure that we try, we try not to give him that. Ice Spirit in the middle here, I think, full counters with the Princess shooting. Uh, it's, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, that's the name of the game, is don't overcommit, especially when I don't think that they have a big spell. They could possibly have a Lightning, but... Mm. I'm just gonna chill, honestly, because I can counter this with um, Goblins, and then he'll probably go for a Zap. Actually, I'm just gonna Rocket this. And then I'm going to go like this. And this will do a decent job, honestly. Yeah. Mm, yeah, decent. Okay, I expect him to go E-Barb, so I, I again, not going to pressure. If you look at the right side, he pretty much ignored the elixir that I played on that side to make that push. Yeah, so E-Barb is a really good answer for him. We're going to do what we do best and try and pull this all to the middle. Decent preemptive rage attempt by him, honestly. Okay. Well, everything to the middle. Beautiful stuff. Not panicking. Barrel down on the opposite side. And I am going to rocket it this time, um, just to keep my princess alive. It's still an even trade. Like, when you rocket a Sparky, it's an even trade. And I want him to have to spend the opposite of the lane that he's going into. Okay, he goes for that right away. Tesla low and in the middle. We need to be ready. He's going to have a nasty push here because we don't have Rocket in Cycle. We're going to get our Knight down and get ready to log the Dark Prince. We're going to Ice Spirit here to pull everything to the middle once again. Protect our Tesla as best as we can. And that was a pretty clean defense. Just going to let this go. If he plays a Sparky, I will Rocket it though. Yeah, like I mentioned. Ice Spirit on the other side, just to support this lightly, like not to over overextend. Yeah, because again, E-Barbs, right? But he still has to spend on my Princess, which is awesome. That's exactly what I want. Goblin Gang in the middle. I expect him to zap or something. Yeah, Rage. Same idea, right? Princess is going to live, though. That's huge. He zaps on the Princess. Now's my time to be aggressive because he overspent. We're going to go in like this. And then we're going to take, take our damage, right? Like, I don't know what damage we're going to get. It's going to be decent damage, but we're just going to let it go. We're just going to let it go because we can defend very well and they can't most of the time. That Sparky's in the opposite lane, so I'm going to go for this Goblin Gang. And if he supports the Sparky in... Oh, went in the, the lane I wasn't expecting. I was going to say, if he supports the Sparky at all, then we, we get a nice rocket. But I'm going to rocket it anyway just because uh, he has to play something on the Princess. We also have Evo Tesla as well, which is going to be a good bailout on defense because he doesn't have a big spell. Okay. At least that's what it appears. He doesn't have a big spell from what we can tell. Log over here. Evo Tesla resetting everything. So, so helpful for us. Okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Panic is the enemy. Panic is the enemy. Perfect. Really, really good defense there. When those E-Barbs are charging at your tower, dude, it's so hard not to just, like, freeze up. But at this point, 30 seconds left. Two princesses down. It would take quite a miracle for them to break through. I do think that this is a very good matchup for me. He's going to bait out my... Oh. oh, I thought I missed. I thought I missed. I thought I missed. I thought I missed. Okay, he's going to do one last big push here. Because um, he kind of has to. No point in going in for barrels at this point because 
Like, we don't need the excess damage, even if he has a lightning or whatever. Doesn't really matter. So, good game to our opponent. That's probably like a 100 0 matchup, to be completely honest. Um, but, you know, it's important to win those matchups and not make mistakes when you have good matchups, because you don't always get good matchups. So, anyways, good GG's to this guy. We'll take our dub and we'll see you in the next one. Into our next game against Dragon Slayer. Uh, pretty intense name. Important to note, he has the Cannoneer, so we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of that. Go for a split Goblin Gang. Okay, he is running Goblin Drill, no surprise. It is a super popular win condition. This meta, it's like really really hard to defend. You can see right there, I didn't even defend it for no hits. So that's unfortunate. It is a winnable matchup, especially when they have Cannoneer. It's pretty good for you. That was supposed to be a barrel. I misclicked that. It is what it is. I'm gonna have my Tesla ready, yep, because he's most likely gonna go in for some stuff here. And stuff he does. Wow, I thought that that would defend that better than it did. Anyways, that's a good Tesla placement in general though, because when they have the Evo Bomber, it'll activate the King Tower. So not the best start for your boy, in fact, arguably a bad start. <laughs> so... This will force out something nice. We get the Evil Bomber out of hand, and we're still going to get some nice chip damage. And on top of that, I'm going to attempt to activate my King Tower. I'm going to go like this. Logging the first Goblin and then Ice Spiriting on the remainder of the drill. And that was an unorthodox way of defending, but I really just wanted the King Tower activated. It helps so much against the Goblin drill. Um, so that was the idea. That was also a bad tornado, because now he still has to respond to the Princess. Yeah, nice. I think he can afford a log, but just, you know, kind of cycling and applying pressure while we can. When you play this matchup, you do want to go opposite lane of the drill player. Um, so we found ourselves in a good situation. Log ready for skeletons if he plays them. Oh, how fast were we? Oh, we're not fast enough. Darn it. The ice spirit got me there. Okay, he doesn't have Evo. Oh, he does. Okay, we need to go for the Tesla. Aggressive Tornado, low-key. Nice. Well done, honestly, by my opponent to catch that. We have a small lead, though, so we're happy about it. Pressuring while defending. Really, really important. Dude, the Goblin Drill is still hitting my tower. That's, like, so crazy to me. It's annoying, actually. Nice. That Bomb Tower didn't pull the Evo Knight. I think he thought that it would. I think that's why... Oh, and that goblin is getting so much damage on that lane. I'm actually going to rocket this because then he will have to respond to the princess once, once more. Okay. Evo Tesla going to help out on defense here. Nice. He goes in for the poison. Because we have the Evo Tesla up, I'm going to go in for the princess early. Wow, well played. Oh, no, he didn't catch it. Okay, we're going to do split lane pressure here because he used his tornado. Nice. Yeah, forces out the log, and then he's going to eat some damage on that side. Or... Forces out Evo Skeleton's Bomber, which is also good. Nice. He mixes up the drill placement. That's well played, honestly. Princess at the bridge is really annoying for him. He's going to go Bomb Tower, I think. Ooh. Nope. Wrong. Okay. Because we have a Knight tanking, I'm going to go like this and do some split lane pressure. Nice. Nice. He has to go Tornado on that side. I'm going to Rocket the Evo Bomber. I think we can get away with it. Oh, or can we? We're gonna get a bomber shot because of that. Oh, he tornadoed it away! That would have hit my tower! Okay, we're almost inside of two rockets. Almost. Split lane pressure here. I'm really concerned about the Evo Bomber more than anything in this matchup. Nice. Good defense, good defense. I'd love to get some chip on the tower. Gonna block the Evo uh, Breaker here. Or Barry. Yeah, that log cost him the game. That was pretty aggressive. I don't know why he did that. Or what he was going for, per se. But anyways, good defense by us. GG's to our opponent. I think that matchup's pretty difficult. When they do have the uh, Cannoneer, it's a little better for you. But like I said, I think we played it well. So GG's to Dragon Slayer. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, up against King Alex. And likely our last match of the video, if we are able to... To keep it close, we'll see. We're just going to cycle an Ice Spirit at the back. See if we can figure out what my what my boy is running. And right away, we see minions. 
Typically a decent matchup when you see minions, but don't want to count my, my chickens before they hatch. Wow, he went for the fireball. Low key, that's crazy. Just gonna let this breathe. Just gonna let it breathe. That's gonna get a lot of damage on the right. Like, that's more damage than his fireball did, and we're up elixir, so... Maybe my dude has... He has an interesting deck already. It's like a swarmy deck, which means our princess is gonna get an absurd amount of value. I'm gonna try to protect her, too. Like this. Yeah. Might have been too aggressive, but... Nah, she's gone. She's a goner. Does he have a freeze? <laughs> no hits. Okay, Hog Zap. I feel like he has a freeze in here. Whenever I see minions and barbarians, like I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just nervous. Looks like he has a, hef a hefty deck though. So mm, do I rock it here? What would be the smart play? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna chill. Okay, maybe we should have rocketed. I don't know. Ah! Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Rocket would have been the safe play, but then, but then I swear, decks like this, dude, they have like a minion horde or something, and then you rocket, and then they go for a minion horde, and you like hate your life. I'm gonna wait on the barrel just a second, because I want him to think I'm not playing the barrel, and then I play it. Yeah, exactly, because maybe he would have defended that differently. Okay, actually, so log zap, he might not have a, he may not have another big spell. Okay, well, Evo zap is like its own big spell, to be honest. Okay, well, oh my God, he still. <laughs> Get any hits. Uh, Loki, that's crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna pressure at the bridge. I should be pressuring the opposite lane, though. Maybe that was a mistake. Princess gets a ton of value. I don't think he has a spell for Princess from what I've seen, so. If, oh, he, has, he does have triple spell. Okay. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay, so it's Fireball, Log Zap. That's all he has. Not all he, like, obviously, that's good answers, but I think we're okay. Pressuring in the opposite lane. Making sure we don't give him fireball value is like my, my biggest concern. I think we can also outcycle his logs a lot of the time. So that's kind of our goal. Like he can, I think he played that hog rider to cycle back to the other log. Tesla's also gonna help out with the ice spirit or ice wizard. We're just kind of rinsing and repeating, but like I'm winning. So I have no issues with that. I have no issues with this these set of interactions. And we're, we're cycles quicker. So he has to play a hog to get back to log. Yeah, I was going to say, he's not back to log yet. And now this is a good rocket that he gave me. Wait for it. Holy moly, it's a good rocket. Oh, baby, what a rocket. Oh, baby, what a rocket. That man spoon-fed me that rocket. And we have our surviving Tesla. Yeah, this is, this is a good, bad matchup for him, to be honest. But hey, Clash Royale giveth and Clash Royale taketh away. Fireball in the opposite lane. I don't know if I agree. We're just, I mean, we're running a control deck, essentially, so that's what we're gonna, we're trying to do. We're just trying to establish control. Not let this game get away from us. Hi, Tezzy. Not let this game get away from us, right? Yeah, there we go. Good time to pressure. We also have two surviving knights down. Which makes me think he's gonna go for barbs, so I'm gonna get ready. Ooh, those are not barbarians. Maybe they're coming down now. Eh. Not my best push, I'll admit it. I'm honestly... Wow, he pre-fireballed, and he's still not going to break through. I'm impressed with how high this guy is, uh, is up with this deck. Nice. Okay, so far so good. Should be a free dub. Free dub skis. I'm going to rocket those, because like that's only a negative one trade. Pocket freeze incoming. No, evil zap though. Yeah. Yeah, he gives up. It is it, it that's like it is like a 100 0 matchup, honestly. I feel I feel for the kid. Yeah. Alright, well. Good game to my opponent. 
Probably a 100-0 matchup, but like I said, it's important to win those, so. GG's King Alex. We'll catch you in the next one. That's gonna do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you wanna uh, take a screenshot. Please give this deck a try. It's so much fun. It's really good. We fluctuated between the top 1K and top 3K throughout this video, so hopefully that's proof enough. Hopefully you learned something from the video. If not, uh, no worries. You can flame me in the comments. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in another video real soon.